So, 65 miles per hour. Let's illustrate the concept of rate using a Cartesian coordinate system. And let's go back to René Descartes, that was the inventor of the system, to his fly on the ceiling. The fly crawled from the point 0, 1 to the point 5, 3. It crawled 2 feet, 1, 2 feet, in 5 seconds. Okay, 2 feet in 5 seconds. Its rate is 3 minus 1 feet, that's 2 feet, over 5 minus 0, which is 5 seconds. That's the rate. The change of y over the change in x. Imagine an infinite line passing through these two points. We shall give a new name to the rate. We shall now call it a slope. So the slope of the line is the change of y over the change in x. m is traditionally used for slope, although it is not legally binding. As I said, it's a vertical change in y over the horizontal change in x. If I have a point x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, all the points on the vertical line have the same x value, x sub 2, x sub 2. All the points on the same y value have the same horizontal line, I mean have the same y value, y sub 1, y sub 1. So this is x sub, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, and horizontally, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So that's my slope. Be careful with the subscripts and the exponents. Sometimes I find students who write y to the power 2 minus y to the power 1 over x to the power 2 minus x to the power 1. That's absolutely terrible. So y sub 2, y sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 1. Sub below, like subterranean. 